and Sky the Third. And I guess we may as well move through the fourth moon door. I have a feeling this is going to be a pretty lengthy segment, so we'll see if it's its own video or what exactly, but I figure this is what you guys have been waiting for ever since Estelle came back. We killed a little time with the fishing thing, but let's get on to the main course, so to speak. So bring to me the girl who shines like the sun, and made the boy who cherishes that light be at her side. Only then shall the door open. I shall grant you a memory fragment of my blessing. The first week. There's no need to be so afraid. I am but a humble magician. I will heal your broken heart for you. Provided, of course, I am compensated. Joshua, are you okay? Oh, your temper's gone up again. Stay still. Where's the towel? Where's the towel? Wait a sec, okay? I'll be right back with some water. Not out wandering around. Joshua, where the heck are you? Joshua. There you are. What are you doing out here? You gotta start taking it easy. Why? I'm fine. Are you sure? Is your fever gone? It was just a temporary one as a result of my injuries. My temperature went back down this morning. I'm fine now. Really? That's good. You were moaning over and over in your sleep. I was worried about you. Did I say anything? Afraid I asked. So, if you're feeling better, do you want to play together? Must have been pretty boring to sleep all the time. I know it's boring for me when I'm stuck in bed with a fever. I hate not having anything to do. But you probably shouldn't be running around with your foot all messed up. I guess tag and kick the can won't work. If you want to play, play by yourself. Just stay away from me. Because it's probably going to get dangerous here soon. It is. I'm grateful to you for taking care of me. Pass that on to Cassius Bright, too. No gloomy faces allowed. When you're feeling down, the best thing to do is something that you enjoy. Then I'll pick you right up. Wait here, okay? I'll bring you stuff you'll really like. Pinky swear. There still don't seem to be any signs that anyone's going to come after me. But it's bound to happen eventually. I've got two or three days at most before they find this place. Two or three days. Joshua! Here you go, a present for me. So cheer up, okay? Estelle proudly presented Josh with a couple of roly polies. What is she doing? Aren't they cute? They curl up if you poke them. I'm fine, thanks. What? How come? They're so cute. 
because I don't. Also, stop coming over here. Stay away from me. So you want another kind of bug, huh? That wasn't what I was trying to say. Hold on, I know lots of bugs. How about this? It's a dragonfly. I don't want one of the, these either. Okay, but how about this? You gotta like these. Behold, a Mulgan monitor lizard. What? You're one tough cookie. Look, this isn't about what I like. I don't want any kind of bug or lizard or anything you have to offer me. This one's my favorite too. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I'm feeling more and more like there's something I'm missing here. Sit down for a minute, Josh, but I've got a serious question to ask. I'm already sitting. What kind of bugs do you like? Big ones, pretty ones, ones with lots of legs, ones with long feelers, ones with shells, wings, web feet? I don't want any bugs at all. What? We have to pull out all the stops. I need something so surprising you'll change your mind. Don't move a muscle. I'll find something I will. Bugs, doesn't she? Ah, he ran away. He had a real funny face, too. No, I can't let this get me down. Now, with how sad Joshua looks for now, he's in so much pain that he can't move around or do anything fun either. Which means I gotta find him the ultimate bug to cheer him up. It's back. You get back here. It's so quiet here. Even after all I've been through, this is the first time I've been in a situation like this. Joshua! Look, look at this one's face! How many times do I have to tell you I don't want any bugs before it gets through? Are you even listening? Look, though. I hereby name this the Human Moth, because the pattern on its wings looks like a human face. What the heck? I knew this would surprise you. Except it didn't. I knew my efforts would pay off big time. Next time I'm going to bring back something even more awesome. She's so obnoxious. Ja uh Oh great, she's back. Joshua! Geronimo! Hey! So clearly she's done that before. What was that for? What was what for? I'm gonna splash you. The water feels so nice. I know, wanna go fishing? Playing in the water is fun, but real fishing's even more fun. Let's go catch today's lunch. Joshua, we're getting out. You catch cold, you stay in those but clothes too long. Caught a big one. This one's for you, Joshua. You don't need to catch anything for me. And I'm gonna catch one for me. If I don't catch anything, I'll have to go without lunch, and that would suck. She doesn't listen to a word anyone says to her, does she? Got a bite. It's a dace. And it's tiny. Daddy's getting this one. Probably just spent the day messing around instead of working anyway. He doesn't deserve a cool fish. What? Okay, next one I catch is definitely mine. 
I hope. She doesn't know anything about Cassius Bright. So he tells his daughter nothing about what he does. Fits his profile, I suppose. Got away. Next one's not gonna be so lucky, though. A tug. Maybe not. So bright. The greenery is hurting my eyes. Gotcha. This one's gonna be huge. Come to me, lunchy fish. -y. What the heck? It's a baby. The second week. okay. She didn't come over to the shop yesterday, either. I still think you're worried about nothing. Estelle's okay. She always does whatever she wants when she wants. Now, Teal, if I remember correctly, is way back from that farm quest that you have way back in first chapter, like so your, one of your first missions. I want to say the name of the place is Prezel Farm or something like that. It's where you have to deal with the crop munchers. If Alyssa was the younger sibling, because I think there were like two daughters and one son or something there. But she used to come over to play every day. Estelle, it's Alyssa. Estelle, come outside. You don't think she's been abducted, do you? I think I'd buy she got attacked by monsters in the woods and ended up experiencing a slow, drawn-out death more than that. That sounds like the way she'd go. That's so gross! That's what she gets for going into the woods all the time to play. Oh no, poor Estelle. You do know I'm joking, right? Come on out, Estelle. Alyssa's going to cry if you don't. If you're looking for Estelle, she's out at the moment. so worried about you. Who's this boy anyway? Someone you know? We've been trying to talk to him for ages now, but he won't tell us anything. He keeps telling us everything we ask is none of our business. Estelle, are these your friends? Yeah, they are. Seems they're not lying about that part, then. They don't seem to have undergone any kind of training, either, and their guard is virtually non-existent. I figure it's about time they found me. It doesn't look like these two have anything to do with them. He's barely talked to her since we got here. I've never seen him around Roland before. How do you even know him? Oh, cause Daddy gave him to me as a present. He's my new little brother. He is? Wow. I'm sure I've, I sure wouldn't have guessed that. Neither would I, because it doesn't make any sense. That's not how getting a little brother works. But it's true. Right, Joshua? No, it isn't. Hey, wait a minute. Listen, young man. Listen to what your older sister tells you. As if someone like you could be my older sister. Why? I'm not here to be friends with you. The only reason I'm here at all is that things just worked out that way. That was what Cassius Bright said, wasn't it? Oh, and one more thing. Can you stop bringing me bugs? I don't know what your obsession with them is, but being too much of a meddler is just going to get, end up with you getting hurt. Ow. Take that, and that. Ow. In 
this house, I'm the older one. That means you have to listen to what I say. Ow. Okay? Okay, Joshua? Go on, answer. No. Excuse me? Well, those two sure get along well. So it seems. You two can shut up at any time. Got ya. I win. From today until forever, I'm your big sister. No backsies allowed. I swear, why does she do this every single night? I wish she'd mind her own business. Determined to sleep outside again, hmm? Not a fan of sleeping in the same room as Estelle, I take it. She's way too much of a meddler. She's also completely clueless. She's got no idea how much danger she's willingly exposing herself to. Why don't you tell her, Cassius Bright? She has a right to know. Why do you stand by and say nothing? The room next to Estelle's has been used as a storage room for a while now, but it could still be converted into a bedroom if need be. It might actually be perfect for you. I haven't been there in a while, but I think there might even be a bed in there. I'm fine as I am. I don't need a room. Hmm. I'll give you that Estelle loves to poke her nose into anything and everything that catches her interest. I can see how from your perspective that makes her look like a simple-minded, clueless child. But that's where you're mistaken. It's not her who's clueless, it's you. Estelle knows exactly what she wants out of life, and what she has to do to get it. Those things are part of what makes her who she is. Although I can't deny that I was hoping to raise her to be a little more of a... well, ordinary girl that she's grown up to be. Still, compare that to you, Joshua. You don't have a clue what you want anymore. You don't know what you should be doing. Which of you is really in the right here? Just so we're clear, whatever you decide to do, I have no intention of indulging you. I'm not going to tell you to leave, but I'm not going to tell you to stay either. What you want to do, where you want to go, who you want to become, those are all things for you to decide and you alone. No one can make that decision for you, and no one knows what kind of decision you'll make. Only you. I... Just what do I want? Several weeks later. Several peaceful weeks passed. Joshua's injuries continued to heal, and it wasn't long before he was able to walk with ease again. Estelle was jumping for joy at this fact, using it as an excuse to drag him out to play with her at every possible opportunity. For him, however, it meant more than deciding what game to play next. He had to decide what course of action he was to take. The time for him to make his choice was drawing near. Farm. So there they told us what it was. Purzel? That's short her girl's last name, right? Yep, this is where Tio lives. Guess what, though? Her mom had twins. As if I needed to guess anything, you wouldn't shut up about when you first heard the news. You all spend to see them over and over as is. Are, you just, are they still exciting enough that you want to keep visiting? Well, we're not here to visit them today. We're here to help out the farm. Right now it's harvesting time. But Miss Hannah's kind of stuck with the baby, so they need some help. 
And when Alyssa told me about it, I wanted that help to be me. Well, it's nice of you to offer. But why do I have to come too? Because I said so. No complaining. Let's go! This is part of your rear hillbilly process. I told you it's rehabilitation. Still, oh, Joshua came too. I bet you dragged him along by force, didn't you? Hey, we've come to help. Well, well, music to my ears. Thanks much for coming over. You did an awful lot for us while Hannah was pregnant as it was. That was nothing. Piece of cake for me. You're a force to be reckoned with, Estelle. But who is... He's Estelle's new little brother. You know about him, I told you before. His name's Joshua. Oh, that does ring a bell. The one who had a big fight with her at some point. Mrs. Purzel. Hello, Mrs. Purzel. Why, hello to you too. I'm so sorry to make you help out again. You've been helping out so much as it is. If I could get right back to work, I would, but... Easy now, you need to rest for a while longer before we start thinking about that. Why? I was back to work in no time after Tio was born. I just put her on my back and got right to work again. Really? How am I supposed to know? I was a baby. Sticking twins on my back is probably pushing it, though. Oh? Who's our black-haired friend? That's Joshua. Tio told, him, told us about him a while ago. Right, Stell's younger brother, I remember now. Why, is Tio adorable? Have you come to help us too? Sorry if it's not much fun. Wait, is that a bandage I see? Uh oh, you're right. I didn't even notice till you pointed it out. My injuries are more or less healed. They won't have any effect on my ability to work. But more or less healed means they're still healing. We can't ask an injured boy to do all of our work for us. We need to sit and rest. Honey, I have the perfect idea. He's gonna be the babysitter. Okay, let me explain the harvesting process. Estelle, Lissa, Tio, you can handle the fields in this area here. Try and start from the fields on the north side. It'll probably be more efficient to split up too. Franz and I will take care of the vegetables in the greenhouses. And as for Joshua... I'll leave taking care of the babies to you. The boy is Will and the girl is Cher. Understood. Well, let's get to work. If you run into any problems or there's something you don't understand, don't be afraid to ask. Okay. The past few weeks there's been no sign at all that anyone's coming after me. Why not? They must have worked out where I am by now. So am I supposed to take this to mean that they're not interested in me anymore? So they just stole my memories and cast me aside. But still, I still feel like... Like I've lost something really important to me. What is it? Just what have I... Joshua... What have I... Joshua! What... Are you listening, Joshua? Estelle? Check this out. Estelle held out a large carrot. Isn't it cool? I harvested this myself. And this eggplant, too. Look, it's so shiny. Uh... Hmm? What? <sighs> you do know you scrape your knee, right? Huh? One day you'll learn to think before you leap. Or at least learn to take care of yourself after. Come on, let me take a look at it. Okay. Joshua took out some disinfectant. Ow! That stings! Just endure it, it'll be over soon. I swear, she attracts scratches and scrapes like a magnet. It's a wonder she hasn't caught tetanus or something. Joshua? You really do love causing people trouble. I... I never asked you to do anything for me. That just makes you cause people even more trouble. You don't do anything about your injuries or even notice them, and it just makes more work for others. You're a danger to yourself no matter how you look at it. 
Anyway, Joshua, why do you... Oh, she's got the back of her hand, too. Tell me where you're going to put that stuff before doing it. Joshua finished treating Estelle's wounds. There, I'm done. I'm trying to take a bit more care in future. In the future? <laughs> so another typo, I assume. Unless you want a lot more of that stuff being a I assume he's saying applied. That's the downside about twins. When one wakes up, they immediately wake the other one up. Oh no. What can we do? You don't need to do anything. Looking after them is my job. You go back to your own work. But... Stopped. You sure you're not their mom? I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer. Just go back to work. You're never going to finish if you're not doing anything. Okay. Thanks, Joshua. Thanks, huh? He's so cool! I didn't know he could do that. A handsome boy playing the harmonica beautifully with the sun setting in the background? There's a picture if I ever saw one. Did you know he could play Estelle? He's supposed to be my brother and he never told me at all. He's gonna get a huge lecture later. Oh, Estelle. What are you getting so mad for? Well, hello there. There's no need to be so afraid. I am but a humble magician. I will heal your broken heart for you. Provided, of course, I am compensated. I finally understand. I finally know what I lost. Everything that was important to me, my happy memories, all that made me myself, that was the compensation I gave. All that remains now is a doll, a twisted, broken fragment of who I was. Someone who exists only to destroy what others love. I need to leave. If I stay any longer, I'll end up destroying the happiness of everyone around me. I need to keep the things that I care about as far away from me as possible, not close by. I need them to be far, far out of my reach. And I need to do it now, before the darkness within me contaminates this place forever. I need to leave. Before my very existence causes her irreparable harm. The next day. Jimbo Mantis or Double Seahorse were enough to get a reaction. He must have really fancy tastes. Okay, today will be the day I impress him. Oh, yes. No one can resist the power of the Bug of Legends. Oh, hello there, Estelle. What are you doing standing around out here? Do you have to do some bug catching? Sure am, but today's not going to be just any bug catching day. Do tell. Today I'm going to make a special syrup that attracts bugs. And with it, I'll be able to catch a super amazing one. Really? That's interesting. But seriously, sweetie. You're 11 now, and a girl. I think you should be starting to dress a bit more like one at your age. But these are comfier and very way easier to move around in. Anyway, bye. Estelle? 
Some things never change. Okay, first I need to get all the ingredients I need to make my super duper syrup. Plus, I should be able to give me some dragon beans, so that's easy. And there's the fresh milk and fresh eggs. Two will give me some if I ask nicely, maybe. <laughs> you know, we gotta do it. Check for new sneakers. Actually, it might be more fun to go check the shop for new sneakers right now. So it still has a short attention span, apparently. Renan! Hey, Estelle. Take you here to look at sneakers. You bet. Are there any new ones in? We sure do. Have nothing new at all. Sorry, kiddo. Your next delivery is due the 16th, if my schedule's any indication. The 16th? That's only a week away. One more week. Just one more week. Estelle? Hi. You came at just the right time. I found some clothes that I think would look so cute on you. Today will be the day you finally get to realize your potential as a girl in some nice clothes. I can't wear them now. I'm, gonna, I'm going bug catching. They'll just get dirty. Wait, I'm going bug catching. I almost forgot because I was thinking about sneakers. Back to getting ingredients. Time to go see Alyssa. Full speed ahead. As if that little bundle of energy didn't already have enough power to didn't have enough to power an airship. Now she's got more than ever. I wonder what's gotten her so fired up. Alyssa. Still. I still can't get over how cool Josh was yesterday. I want to hear him play the harmonica again. You'll be lucky to get that out of him. He won't even talk now. He hasn't said a word since we heard him play. What? For real? Yeah. Maybe it was my fault for taking his harmonica without permission and trying to play it, too. You silly thing. Listen, Estelle? Joshua doesn't seem to want to talk about it. But it feels to me like he's had some kind of painful experience that's bothering him. So... Oh, I know. You do? He's got something serious on his mind, I can tell. Sometimes I look at him and he looks like he's in really in pain about something. I don't think I'd be able to help him with whatever it is, even if I knew. So? That's why I just want to try and cheer him up in my own way for now. That's really sweet of you. Anyway, give me some dragon beans. Like the coffee beans? You're going to use those for... That's a secret. You're so weird, Estelle. Okay, hold on a sec, I'll go get some. Here you go. Thanks, now we gotta go to Tito's house. Need some fresh milk and eggs from her. What the heck are you playing, Estelle? I'll show you later. You might pass out from surprise, though. You know what? I think I'm okay with not knowing. Anyway, see you later. Ah, now I wish she told me. Tio! Hey, Estelle, what's up? Wait, forget it. I just know just from how you're dressed. Today's bug catching is special, though. But first, I need some fresh milk and fresh eggs. What in the heaven's name do you need those for? Don't tell me you suddenly developed an interest in cooking or something. Well? Estelle explained what she was trying to do. Bug of Legends? Yep, I'm trying to give Josh for the surprise of his life. I'm not sure I'm following all this. Let me try again. I guess you're trying to make some kind of aromatic capable of attracting that bug. Probably. Just swear if you do, promise not to get any of it on me, alright? I won't, I won't. I don't know if I believe you. Well, here's what you want. Fresh milk and fresh eggs. One more thing before you go, Estelle. If you really see him as your little brother, you should start gradually opening up to him about your, the past. Try getting him to do the same with you, too. Maybe try talking to him about your mom. 
Yeah, I can do that. It does feel like the kind of thing you need to sit and have a big serious discussion about, though. We're always gonna be together, so I think he'll get it eventually. Because we're family now. Well, I tried. That's a very you way to look at it, but I mean that in a good way. Thanks to you. Okay, I've got everything I need now. All I've gotta do is head to Miss Vault and catch me the Bug of Legends. You just wait, Joshua. I'm gonna blow your socks off. Wait a second. She's not gonna go there all by herself, is she? It just was this Bug of Legends thingy anyway. Stop by for a little bit. Oh? If it isn't young Estelle, what are you doing here? Hi, Mr. Mayor. What are you thinking of playing in the clock tower? The repairs now were finally finished last month. Yeah, I know. The artisans of the town all put their heads together to try and make it as close to the original as possible. They tried to use many of the original materials as they could, too. So what do you think? It looks almost exactly like it did, didn't it? Does it? I guess. I don't really remember it that well, though. You know, looking at this clock tower fills me with a magical energy. It makes me feel like everyone in Roland, you know, like everyone I've ever met is supporting this town and wishing it well. It does? That's why this spot is really important to me. Oh. I gotcha. You just wait, Joshua. I'm gonna go catch me the Bug of Legends. Pardon? Estelle? Full speed ahead! Whatever was that about? So I don't remember if her mother died at the clock tower, or if that's just the memorial for all the people who died in the war. But there were scenes involving that in the first game, I remember. I don't know if there were any in the second game, though. I can smell the scent of my prey. Somewhere around here should be good. This one. It's just screaming, pick me! And done. So I don't know if that's normal, but that really does remind me of Pokemon when you're trying to catch a Munchlax or Heracross or something. Today's the day Joshua loves bugs. I mean, this bug is legendary. He's in for the shock of his life. Hey, it's a Rhino Cider! Like, I still have a little trouble picturing their scale. I think that's probably the best way to describe it. If you remember in Cold Steel, those things are like the size of a tank. Here, they're like the size of a dog. That's a pretty big disparity. And since Cold Steel, like, I don't... For Cold Steel, I guess it may need to be bigger just to draw attention or something, but they do have smaller monsters too, so... Like... I don't know if they were always intended to be that big, or what exactly. Thank you for everything. That sounded like Estelle. Did something happen to her? might not have. It's Estelle. She probably just tripped. But... No, whatever may or may not have happened to her, it's not got nothing to do with me anymore. She's got nothing to do with me anymore. Damn it. Four of them. This is mine. You can't have it. Go away. Shoot, shoot. Don't come any closer. Are you listening to me? What? 
get behind me. This is about as much as I can do with my current stamina. They ran away. Joshua? What is wrong with you? Huh? Why are you even doing... What are you even doing this far in a place this dangerous? Do you even stop to think what might happen? You're a child. Don't put yourself in unnecessary danger. Why do you never stop to think about... Stop to think before diving headfirst into anything? For once in your life, try and look before you leap. Otherwise... Joshua? You came at just the right time. That's not funny. If I hadn't... Look at this. Look, look, I finally caught one. This is it. This is the Bug of Legends. What? It's huge. We shall name it Heracross. Isn't it cool? Um, Joshua? If something bad happened to you in the past, but you don't want to talk about it, then I'm not going to force you to. I'll just wait until you feel ready to talk about it with me. Till then, I'll be right here by your side waiting. The other thing I'll do is give you this bug, so cheer up, okay? telling me that bug's somehow legendary, because I don't see what's so impressive about it. What? But it's huge! This is the most awesome bug in the entire world! Nope. Not in the slightest. You just wait. I'll find a bug that'll amaze you, even if I have to search forever and ever. So just wait right here. me more than any bug ever will. Because I can't believe how much I've changed because of you. You're a strange girl. It was then that I made a promise to myself. It was for my own good and no one else's. The only condition by which I could permit something as unnatural as me to be allowed to live in this peaceful world. So is the most cowardly thing I could have possibly done, but I hope you can forgive me. I was more concerned about that than about continuing to deceive myself. On the final day. I can't believe how many people came to see us off. Thanks for coming. It means a lot that you came here to be with us. So as I think you all know, Joshua and I are going to be away from Liberal for a while. We'll be traveling around the continent doing our brace work for the various guilds in the countries we visit. We might be away for quite some time too. Right now we intend to travel across basically the whole continent. But one day we will come back to Roland, we promise. Yeah, we will. We'll make sure we've grown so much that you won't be able to believe your eyes when we come back, too. I still can't believe you decided all this on your own without even consulting your loving papa. Didn't they? They did not. That made taking time off to come see them off a real pain, let me tell you. Sorry about that, Dad. But you realize we didn't give you much notice with this. Something we discussed seriously, though. Hopefully you'll be able to believe what we're doing is for the best. As long as you've given serious thought to what you're doing, you have my support. So go out there and do what you want to do. I'll always be right here waiting for you. Good to hear. Thanks, Dad. You're both veteran bracers at this point, so I'm sure you don't need much in the way of advice. Instead, I'll keep this simple. From now on, it'll be up to you to decide what you need to learn and what you need to know. Focus on improving your powers of discernment, that's all I'll say. We'll be sure to take it to heart. Life as a bracer is very different in other countries compared to how it is here, as I'm sure you're about to find out. 
but the fundamentals are the same. Just do as we taught you here, and I'm sure you'll be just fine. Thanks. I'm sure we were all taught... I'm sure all we were taught will come in handy if we ever find ourselves in a bind. I'm sure you'll be able to handle anything you find yourselves up against. We taught you ourselves, after all. Follow your hearts with your heads held high. You'll be just fine. That means a lot to us. We can't thank you enough for all you've taught us over the years. I'm sure it'll keep coming in handy in the future, too. For real, we really owe you to. Oh, there's no need to thank me. I've just done what I always can as your big sister. Don't drink or eat anything that seems funny while you're away, Estelle. Make sure you brush your teeth before bed, too, and that you don't get so caught up in work you forget to shower. And, and... Easy now, Stella. She's not a child anymore, you know. She knows how to take care of herself. Hope she can, because if you don't look after yourself, Estelle, I'll be showing up in your dreams. The scary part is, I wouldn't put it past you to find a way to do that. Don't worry, that really won't be necessary, I swear. You take good care of her, too, Joshua. And remember, there's always a job available for you at my shop if you want it. So come back safely, you hear? I will. Please take care of yourselves while we're away. I don't want you to go, Estelle. You won't forget about me, will you? Come on now, stop crying. Of course I won't. When we've settled in wherever we end up next, we'll write to you right away, okay? Look after Alyssa while I'm away, okay, Tio? Make sure not to let Joshua get away while you're out of the country, too, okay? What? Duly noted. Do you two really have to go? Joshua! Look at that, you've got the twins crying buckets now, too. It's no surprise this would be hard on them. You've been looking after them since they were babies. Of course they'll miss you. I've got tons of great memories with them to keep me company while we're away, thankfully. It's probably going to be a while before we can see any of you again. But you'll never leave our thoughts, promise. I'm gonna miss you. The Bose bound airliner will be departing shortly. All passengers, please board the airship at this time. Oh dear, it looks like we're out of time. Well then, take care of yourselves. We will. You too, sir. Joshua. Have you made up your mind, then? I have. I want to be Joshua Bright, after all. I know the name distinction might not be a big deal in the eyes of others, but it is for me. It's part of me taking the first and most difficult step on this journey. It's part of making choices only I can make for myself. By the time we come back home, I want to have the strength to proudly declare that living the rest of my life alongside you, Estelle everyone in Roland. Even after taking that diff first difficult step, it's not like I can guarantee it'll get any easier. Maybe on some days it'll be so hard that I'll want to give up. Right now, though, right now I'm more than happy to go out there and find my own path to walk. If I can do that, I can finally feel like I'm working towards becoming the person I want to be. Very well, then. That's the kind of positive attitude I wanted to see. It suits you. Huh. Thanks. That's the best compliment you could have possibly given me. I swear, what is it with the men in our family? Would it kill the two of you to talk so that the rest of us can understand what you're saying? Whatever, come on Joshua, get on board or you're gonna get left behind. I'm coming, I'm coming. See you around. Estelle, when you come back here next, I'm gonna be a bracer just like you I am. Now that I want to see. You don't think I can do it, do you? I'm serious. By the time you get back, I'll be a bracer, I swear. I, I think I want to become one, too. So, don't worry. We'll be back, we promise. I can't wait to work you two into the ground as co-workers. I'll be kind on you to have my back. So don't let us down, okay? I won't. Never forget there's always a home for you here. No matter how long you're away, that will never change. You won't. Thanks, Dan. We'll see you later.
Side story departure complete. Received memory an 8,000 Mira. <sighs> okay, that tired me out a bit. Oh, I'm not using fortune on anyone? Door locations are shown on the minimap. Unless there's some that are, like, really well hidden, this sounds kind of worthless. <laughs> yeah, what is it with Estelle's doors giving me all this garbage? Just for that, the next door we go through should have nothing to do with Estelle whatsoever, don't you think? But you have to wait until next time for that, because I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.